Hey Virgo, this is Star. Welcome to your love reading. All right, let's see your overall energy with regards to love and romance. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so we have self-sabotage. This over here. <clears throat> All right, Virgo, let's see. What's going on with you? Whoa. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love and Romance, let's see. All right, okay, we have the Magician in Reverse. these cards. I'm just going to put them back. So it's interesting that we get the Magician in reverse, um, having, having gotten, you know, your overall energy uh, with regards to relationships or love and romance, uh, be self-sabotage because the Magician in reverse is when we don't um, manifest so we'll look for <clears throat> we'll look further into that. All right. So the energy of the other person is the five of wands in reverse. The potential is the page of swords. Advice is the devil. Ooh, possible outcome. Two of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have temperance. Okay. So, I mean, clearly, there is potential here. <laughs> Um, whoever it is you're dealing with, they're, they're not wanting drama. They don't like the drama. They're not about it. Um, so is there something that scares you about this person? Is there something like, I really need to know what this devil is about. What is this self-sabotage? Let's see this magician in reverse. the page of pentacles in reverse Reverse. 
So, I feel like what the problem is, is it's not so much like this person has what you want. You, you both want this, but you don't want to feel like you're losing control. This is a control thing. This is like you want to have control over your life. You want to be able to do what you want to do. Um, and the fact that your whole world would change if you give in to this. Two of Cups. The fact that you would have to like measure your steps like you know that you would have to compromise that you would have to think of another person every step of the way going forward it's a lot so you know sometimes it's really hard to express because even, you know, you might not even acknowledge that or, you know, even see it coming or, or feel it or, or obviously you feel it, but maybe you can't pinpoint it. Like you feel the irritation or the aggravation, but you can't quite like, hmm, why, you know, Put your finger on it. And and so it's possible in some cases. I'm, I'm just seeing that it, it may not apply to you, but I feel like there's maybe groups where it does. Where there, you know, there's like fights started. To deflect, you know, just because of the aggravation of having to, like, you know, change their lifestyle or lose control somehow. So, hmm. Did this cause a separation? Because something didn't take off or I feel like for someone like something was about to happen. This caused something major because I mean, these are all major arcanas. So I don't know if somebody was about to get married or they, I don't know what happened here, but it's pretty big. So let's see, five of wands reverse. Someone doesn't want to fight. They don't, want to, they don't want conflict. They don't want to be in competition either. Three of Cups. They just, they just want to be happy. Ace of Cups. The thing is, so Three of Cups, Ace of Cups would make Four Cups. And Four Cups, you have pretty much, you know, all the cups that you know, it's four cups, it's enough cups, but it's kind of boring. So, I feel like that's the problem here that, <laughs> I feel like somebody's having trouble signing up for, you know, what could be boring or just mm, too routine or, and maybe it's not, but just the thought that it could turn into that, you know, I don't know. 10 of wands. It's just too much work. There's too much drama. Um, 
or it's like it's become like what was full of love and joyous has become too much of a burden because this person has like made it or, or you perhaps have made it a big deal because like you're re you could be reading too much into something or like freaking out somebody's having cold feet maybe um and this uh, this could be you know at a point like at a crossroads or at a point in a relationship where it's just about to get more serious like like i said it, it could be like a very major point in a relationship somebody's about to get married or somebody's about to move in together it's something like that where it's a very pivotal point in the relationship where you know you could very well be about to like fuck it up majorly sorry because this person like i said they're not about the drama like they don't want they don't want to be burdened like they just want to have like a peaceful life even if it's boring like they would rather be bored than be burdened with drama so yeah but they they don't it's not that they want to be bored it's just they want to go back to when it was just easy and joyous and loving and they don't want you know all the the heaviness so let's see what this um devil it's actually the advice it's in the advice position so oh, two of cups in reverse okay hmm. knight of cups Queen of Cups in reverse. Mm. Ace of Wands in reverse. So, I feel like the advice is to not ignore the red flags that are there because eventually, that intensity that exists between the two of you it's the the red flags are going to kill it okay kill the love kill the passion kill you know the, the the connection between the two of you if you don't address the red flags if the red flags are not addressed it doesn't have to be you or you know whoever does the addressing but it needs to be addressed um, and interestingly enough, the potential lies in the Page of Swords, which is about communication. So, yeah. Um, so, it's all about acknowledging that there, there's some issues that, that need to be talked about. Um, so, the potential is the Page of Swords. Fool in reverse. Permit. Judgment. Yeah. Um, I'm just getting here, you know, there needs to be like a clear conversation or there there's going to be or or you know the potential there there's a potential of a clear conversation or some truth that needs to be told or that will be told uh you know that maybe someone's not ready to take a leap of faith or to take that next step um and and perhaps just needs more time on their own So, however, outcome we have the Two of Cups. <laughs> Potential outcome we have the Two of Cups. The Devil. The Star.
the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh, that's just so crazy. The Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. I, I, I need one for the star, actually. The Six of Pentacles. I mean, the devil came out here for a reason. <laughs> so there is a potential for, you know, this truthful conversation to take place if you choose for that to happen. But that would be, you know, the not, this would not be the easy way out. This is a difficult conversation. This is probably what, most people would not want to do. Um, which is probably why this is the most likely outcome. <laughs> would be the two of cups. Would, would be for the same to kind of continue, you know, to just try to make it work. And just let's just continue doing what we've been doing and staying in this devil energy. Um, and just not talk about the red flags. And, and just pretend that, that, you know, everything's great in, and we're, we're living out our fantasies and kind of enabling each other. Um, yeah. Just living off of the, the passion that you feel for each other. But I feel like if that relationship or if, if that's what... I feel like it would be stunted at that level, you know? I don't see it growing from there. I don't see it having the ability to grow while this devil energy exists. Now, if this takes place, then yeah, probably. It could have major growth, actually. Here, no, not so much. It would stay, actually, probably very surface level, really. So, yeah. This was, like, an interesting reading. Really, really interesting. Let's see. What cards? Let's do these. Messages for Virgo. So if, um, you know, if the energy didn't apply to you guys and you feel like it's the other person, just, you know, vice versa or whatever. All right. bottom we have love is all around you there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth so the card you got is consider your foundation you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love yeah that's pretty much I think what <laughs> what somebody is asking you is how committed you are and that's that's what freak is freaking you out or vice versa that's exactly what's happening here. So a lot to think about. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope that you like the reading. I'll see you guys soon for your monthly. Bye.